Authority Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianka. You've been tracking, it seems like milder temperatures right before Christmas. It's been pretty nice. Can't complain. Can you walk outside, middle of the afternoon, sun is shining, birds are singing, the grass is green again for the first time in like nine months. There's flowers. Very pretty out there. However, some of the trees are just like naked. There aren't any leaves on them because it is winter. I don't know. After all. Yeah, but in the winter it rains here and things come back to life as it turns out. But the nice weather's been nice. We've had plenty of rain. Okay, we've been a little spoiled with the rain lately and we certainly need more, but I think we could take a little break for the holidays before it comes back. And it is sometimes an inconvenience, even though we kind of need it. So we're just trying to, we're trying to look on all sides of the store here. Live look from Domenico's on the wharf showing tranquil conditions. I say that every night, but it looks pretty tranquil out there. Look, you can just barely see a little wobble in the water. That's about it this evening. Uh, here was our sunset from Salinas. We had some high clouds out there. If you went outside a little bit earlier, you might have saw, might have seen, you might have witnessed some flashier colors. It had kind of died down by this point, but it was still nice. Take a look at some high temperatures from today. We were above normal. Fort Hunter Liggett at 68 degrees today was our hot spot. Salinas, mid 60s, about five degrees or four degrees above normal. Hollister also above normal. You should be 59 this time of year, so it was warm in Hollister. Monterey also should be 59 this time of year, 62. Santa Cruz should be 61 this time of year. You were normal in Santa Cruz. And the Pinoche Valley, it was chilly on the eastern slopes of the Diablo Range. Now, the water that falls in the Pinoche drains into the San Joaquin Valley. And uh, you were in a different air mass, that San Joaquin layer air mass. And it was much cooler out there, 49 degrees for your high. Now, today was the shortest day of the year, daylight-wise. We had about 9 hours and 39 minutes. It was the winter solstice that occurred earlier this afternoon. Tomorrow will be 3 seconds longer, as far as daylight's concerned. But tonight is the longest night of the year. So if you wake up tomorrow morning and you think, man, that was a long night. You're not wrong. It was the longest night of the year as far as night light hours are concerned. And right now, temperatures are in the 40s across the region, so it's not too bad. We've had some high clouds streaming on in. That's going to keep temperatures fairly mild overnight. And I think lows will actually be slightly above normal for this time of year. Your sun rises at 7.15 a.m. Sunrises actually keep getting later for the next several days. Our sunsets have also been getting later once again. So that it's kind of this weird offset where the sunsets start getting later, and then about halfway through, you hit the solstice, and then the days start getting a little bit longer, but your sunrises still keep getting later. And then eventually, they start getting earlier too in a few days. So we'll catch up to you eventually. But right now, expecting partly cloudy skies overnight. Here are those high clouds I was talking about. They are coming in here to the west coast, associated with a weather system offshore. Likely not to bring us any precipitation. However, we're going to catch the tail end of it, it looks like, on Friday morning. And that might be enough to give us a few sprinkles. The farther north and the closer to the coast you live, the better your chances. So. I'm talking to you in Santa Cruz County, Parkfield, you're going to stay dry with this system. Santa Cruz County might get a little sprinkle here or there. It might even be enough to wet the roads in a couple places Friday morning. But that's about it with this system. Then we're smooth sailing through the holiday. So let's go through Futurecast, passing high clouds through the overnight hours. Uh, there will be a few low clouds offshore as well. We could still see a little bit of fog in the, some of our su southern valleys and also out in the Pinoche, but otherwise a partly cloudy sky is overnight. Throughout the day tomorrow, we'll continue to see rounds of passing clouds. A few low clouds will be possible on the coast late as that system approaches. And I think the model is going to show a couple of green sprinkles showing up here. Oh yeah, there there are a couple of them offshore. So kind of close to us, not something to get too excited about. And then as we roll things all the way through Saturday, we're seeing a general clearing trend on the backside of that. So uh, tomorrow, partly cloudy, we'll have passing high clouds. And because of those clouds, will be a little bit cooler than today. So Santa Cruz, you're topping out at 58. Mostly 50s in the Santa Cruz Mountains, uh, even Capitola around 58 tomorrow. Low 60s in Watsonville, Salinas, a couple of degrees cooler than today. Hollister at 60, a little cooler up in the Santa Clara Valley with upper 50s. Uh, Prunedale in the low 60s, same in the Castroville Marina. And over to the Monterey Peninsula with highs in the upper 50s to low 60s tomorrow. Those lows not too bad in the 40s, pretty manageable. And then farther south, a couple of cold spots in the deep south. Bradley, San Antonio Valley, getting close to that freezing mark. You'll be less covered in high clouds, and that's why. And then highs back to the low 60s for the most part tomorrow afternoon. So over the next seven days, temperatures will warm up a few more degrees on the coast for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
It looks like we'll see highs a few degrees above normal through the weekend on the coast. Mostly sunny skies, dry conditions outside of that chance of sprinkles on Friday morning. And then the weather pattern becomes more active once again next week. That's going to start on Tuesday, it looks like, with wind and rain. Of course, that could change a little bit, but there's a pretty strong signal in the models with this system coming through. So we'll keep an eye on it for you. So stay tuned to the forecast. Inland areas also going to see that warm up over the next couple of days, peaking on Christmas Day, actually, before a cool down with wet weather returning midweek next week.